POC Network here at CES 2020, and we're at the Race 3D booth over here with Mark, who is... Uh, Hi, James. Uh, how's it going, Mark? Good. Uh, we got some new stuff here. Uh, we do. You, uh, you've had two models that, that have been out there for a while. you got plenty Correct. of customers that have been using these, and they've been uh, using them for different scenarios and, and you know, for di different types of uh, resin and mm -hmm. uh, and filament to create all sorts of, you know, intricate devices. But you're, you're working with, like, carbon fiber and flexible. Uh, what, what, what are we looking at here? Well, um, let me, first of all, explain what, what the big differences are in, in 3D printing right now. Sure. It, it, you need a great printer that's reliable, durable, but you also need great filament. And so about a year and a half ago, we opened up what's called an open filament program. And that's allowed us to have these type of products. And so we've got 110 filament manufacturers around the world that have our printers. They test their filaments that they've got coming out or filaments they already have out. And they will give us settings and so forth saying, boy, these print really good on your printer. And then they send that filament to our headquarters in California we have 50 machines, we test the filament with different size nozzles, then we certify it, and then we put it on our website. So it's a total open system. So customers uh, can buy directly from the, uh, the filament manufacturers or they can buy from us at a discount and we'll ship it up to them. So that's en enabled us to have things like this, which is, this is a clarion material, and this is a nylon carbon fiber. And, and you can see the, the quality of something like this. And this is printed right off the printer, and this is how it comes off. So then there's also items where they might need specialty. Uh, uh, this is fire resistant. So this is a car charger. And, and so this is fire resistant, and then it's actually got um, glass filled nylon, and you'll put the wires through there, and you can actually you know, charge an electric car, and it's printed in two pieces. Products now are becoming as strong as metal. And so, you know, nylon carbon fiber printed with a, a solid infill is much lighter weight and can be used actually as a finished product in some cases in the automotive industry. We've got some driverless car companies um, that you're going to see these cars hitting the road and they have radar systems and they've got camera systems. And they print that on our printer and then they paint it and it's all part of the car. And the reason they do it on, on a 3D printer is because the technology that goes in that can change at any time. So it's not as a, a size of a camera could change and, and, uh, or uh, a radar could change and they, they just change it on their CAD software and then they print it on the, on the printer. And it saves them a ton of time and a ton of money when you have to go to molds or castings and things like that. So that is changing. The, um, this is an interesting uh, print. So, so the printers have dual nozzles. So out of the second nozzle, this, this particular print needed a whole lot of support. So this is called PVA. And this you dip in a bucket of water and about two hours later it all dissolves and then will actually give you working gear. So you're not going in there and having to remove any of the support you, structure yourself? You, you couldn't. On this model, yeah. it would be impossible it to would. do. So there's certain things that, that need a lot of support. And then we're printing actually uh, on that printer over here, this is a miniature floor jack. And people are always amazed that a printer, it, it prints in this, this uh, angle here and it just layers up. But when that print is pulled off, it's fully assembled. And my grandson loves this because he puts his matchbox cars on it. <laughs> so, you know, I always have to bring a couple home from the show. But, you know, that is printed just like that off the printer. That's so, pretty cool. So pull, you're not, because norm normally you'd have to print multiple different pieces and put it all together afterwards. Yeah, so printers. this is ready to go right out of the box here. Well, yeah, right out of the printer at least. Yeah, right situation. out of the printer. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting because the tolerances, our, our printers can go down to 10 microns which is very, very fine. And so, you know, the longer, um, you know, the finer we can get, we don't have to pull out supports and so forth. So it knows where to lay down the supports, where to have the gaps and so forth. Um, you know, here's a little chain mail and so forth. That has no supports. That just comes off the raft just like that and all, all put together. The, the flexible um, materials are a big deal now too. We've got a, a large aerospace company that uses a lot of what's called polyflex, and this is almost like a rubber. And so what they're doing with, with, the, um, with the polyflex, I was asking, you know, why are you going through so much of this? 
they're taking their tools uh, that the, the uh, mechanics and the engineers have working on the planes and they're wrapping them, uh, certain handles and, and certain parts of those tools, if they drop them, they're not going to break them. So they're actually creating safety devices okay. uh, with, with uh, the Polyflex and it's a huge aerospace company. So. So they've got, they're building a lot of airplanes. And you're able to use that in the same printers? Same printers. So you don't have to switch to a resin printer or anything, this no. is actually filament? No, it's actually filament. See, that's, okay. It's actually filament. Um, that's cool. You know, so there's polycarbonate, this engine block's done in polycarbonate. Uh, we have a lot of drone manufacturers uh, that are building the complete components of the drone. Uh, your camera housings and things like that. Um, components of that, if you need something made, uh, it might be a, you know, a small box or, or a bracket or something like that. You know, that's what we call just-in-time custom manufacturing. Um, I can tell you that we've got a um, Mercedes, the Sprinter van division, uh, just bought some printers and they're using it for uh, jigs and fixtures. And then they're also talking about even maybe making a new mirror for the Sprinter vans, but instead of mirrors, have a camera system in yeah, the side. Yeah, like BMW, uh, BMW is doing that yes, now. Yes, yes. And so okay. it's much safer for us as a driver. We Absolutely. don't have the blind spots. We can look straight at the dash and see you what... You object recognition in your mirrors and yes. everything by yeah. doing that. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, it's, it's amazing what this technology is allowing businesses uh, to be more efficient and really think out of the box. This is really cool. And you have a new printer that's coming out too. We do. We do. We have a E2. Uh, we've been working on this for about two years, so uh, it's a it's a it's a little different uh, than our uh, other printers because it's an IDEC system where it's got independent extruders, so it can do mirrored images. So that printer um, has a print volume of 13 inches by nine and a half by nine and a half, but it can print two items at the same time. It can do a left or a right uh, at the same time. So for the shoe industry, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Um, for people that need to, uh, a, a left and a right of a bracket, you can print the same thing out and it, it prints all the same material uh, that, um, that uh, our other printers print. The, the neat thing about all of our printers are they're enclosed. So for the schools and for office environments, they have filtration systems in there. Um, they all have 64-bit computers, touchscreens. So if you lose power in the middle of a big print, um, this print right here is a full volume of, of our uh, Pro 2 Plus, and this is an uh, eight-day print. So wow. if, you, if, you, if, you lost, if you lost power here, you got to start all over on most other printers. Yep. With ours, we have memory built in, and it, uh, it will resume right wherever it left off. And that thing, I've picked that thing, I've, I've held that myself. That thing is incredibly durable. Yeah, there's, there's five, uh, five rolls of filament in that. And, um, and and it just our, our printers run. They just go 24 by 7 and 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 finish, and that's what you got. It was funny. We were just talking with Form Labs earlier about mm -hmm. uh, they've been using their printers to print soles mm -hmm. for shoes, mm -hmm. and we had asked them what about the rest of the shoe, and they said, "Well, that's different. That's not yeah. coming from the printers. You're actually printing the shoe." Too. Yeah, they, they we, just, we sort of the we, whole rest of it is coming from your printers. Yeah, much almost. Yeah, we so. uh, we work uh, we work in tandem. Um, we do the top sole. In fact, I've got a shoe right here. So so. What Form Labs would do would be the soles. And we do the we do the top portion, of course, not the shoelaces, and then the, the uh, insole. So um, that's how we can work together, you know, based on two different technologies, each each serving a different purpose. But this will be a big industry uh, for us, and uh, finding out that we can actually make the shoes quicker in a traditional way. Absolutely. So, and this is breathable just like regular mesh. Yes. So it'll yeah. make for a great athletic shoe. Yeah. I don't know if it's my style, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, it looks like something you see in a Michael Jackson yeah. music video walking on the moon somewhere. <laughs> That's so. right. <laughs> well, this is fantastic, Mark. Thank you so much. You're you know, welcome. It's great hearing about what's yeah. new coming from Race 3D, and yeah. this is all exciting. Uh, we definitely look forward to hearing more about the printer come time. Thank you. And uh, well, we'll definitely catch you next time. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Appreciate it's been a pleasure. It. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.